Iker Casillas. South Africa's Golden Glove winner had a terrible tournament. In the opening game, Casillas's errors were costly, his absence for a free kick led to the Dutch going 3-1 up, while a comical attempt to control the ball in his box allowed Robin van Persie to get his second of the game. In Spain's following must-win game, the Spanish captain inexplicably punched away a free kick to gift Chile their second goal and send the reigning champions packing. Pepe. The Real Madrid defender came into the World Cup as a Champions League winner, but his tournament will forever be remembered for an idiotic, thuggish headbutt on Germany's Thomas Muller in the opening game. Sergio Ramos and Gerard Pique. Spain's centre-back pairing looked like they had never met each other let alone played with each other at the World Cup. Comically running into each other, failing to clear long balls, and allowing the likes of Robin van Persie, Arjen Robin, and Chile's Alexis Sanchez to run them ragged, the pair conceded seven goals in the first two matches. Benoit Asuikato. The Tottenham fullback's headbutting of his own teammate capped a dismal and somewhat disgraceful World Cup showing from Cameroon. Wilson Palacios. Stoke City's Wilson Palacios was one of the few recognizable names, and the star man in a Honduras team making their only their third appearance at a World Cup Finals. But Palacios started the tournament as if he was debuting in its rugby equivalent, and earned a deserved sending off after a second yellow card offense in under 40 minutes against France. Antonio Valencia. The Manchester United man was completely overshadowed by his namesake in Air Valencia this summer. After being largely invisible in Ecuador's first two group stage games, Valencia topped off a torrid tournament by being sent off in his side's vital group stage match against France. Paul Inho. Few Brazilian players covered themselves in glory during their final game against Germany, but Tottenham's Paul Inho proved to be the pits. Toothless and insipid in the middle of the field, it was, in Jeremy Wilson's words, one of the worst midfield performances in World Cup history. Edinson Cavani. The Uruguayan's career has been on hold since his big money move from Napoli to PSG last summer. Having been forced to play in a wide position rather than his preferred central striking berth, Cavani looked like a man shot of confidence in Brazil, his sole goal coming via a penalty kick against Costa Rica. Diego Costa. La Liga winner and symbol of Atletico Madrid's greatest domestic triumph, Diego Costa was one of the World Cup's biggest flops. Having opted to represent Spain over Brazil, Costa looked like a fish out of water in the red shirt of the champions, scoring no goals and heading up a toothless, stayed Spanish attacking line. Fred. The ignominious Fred departed the pitch in his last World Cup game after his every touch was being met by jeers by his home crowd in Belo Horizonte. A single goal to his name in six games, the hapless and erratically mustachoed Fred came to symbolize how far the current crop of Brazilian players were from the greats of yesteryear.